Hello everyone, welcome to another pronunciation video. Today we're going to be looking at the U phoneme. The U, U phoneme. What we're going to do is very quickly I'll explain to you the technical aspect of it. I'm going to explain to you exactly how to form it in your mouth with tongue placement and everything like that. And I'm going to show you a few examples of the different spellings and words that we use this U sound in. There's also a test at the end for you, just to see how well you're progressing with your understanding of phonics and phonetics. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. Okay, this is one of our short vowels, and it is the U sound, as we can see illustrated here. How exactly do we make this sound? Let me show you, okay? If you're not familiar with this, please check the link below in the description to go to one of my other videos or click there or maybe there somewhere on the screen there will be a little card for you to click on and it will take you to this video, okay? The OO sound is made towards the back of the throat. OO. It's very similar and it gets regularly confused with the OO sound as well when food, screw, June, woman, book, wolf. It's a little bit shorter, but that's not the only thing. We call this a lax vowel. And what that means is that the tongue, quite simply, isn't quite as tense. It's more relaxed than it would be for food. 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 Woman. Food. Woman. Food. Woman. The tongue sits a little bit more relaxed and it's slightly lower in the mouth. It's not quite as far back as the Ooh sound. Woman, food. Woman, food. You should feel it when you say it in your throat, the difference between woman, food. Woman, food. Woman, food. Play around with it. It will take time, but believe me, once you understand it and you've got it perfect, what a difference it makes to your English. So try not to get these two confused. Okay, let's go back. So, the oo sound. Very quickly, let me tell you what it is. The technical name for the oo sound here is the near close back rounded vowel. The near close back rounded vowel. Again, let me just explain it to you. Just to remind you, a close vowel is, means that the tongue is as close to the roof of the mouth without creating an obstruction. So it's that there, it's close to the, it's close to the roof of the mouth without creating an obstruction. Near close, meaning that the tongue is slightly closer to the middle of your mouth than a close vowel, but it's still towards the roof of the mouth. Quite simply, what I mean by that is that the oo sound is it's closer to the roof than the bottom of the mouth, but it's near close, meaning that it's not entirely on the bottom of the mouth, it's a little bit up, so oo, oo. It's back, meaning that it's quite close to the back of the mouth, of the, of the mouth if you like, but not all the way. And it's rounded because we make the oo sound. It's a voice vowel sound coming from the throat with the lips protruded, pushed out to make this oo sound. Play around with oo and aw. Oo, aw. There's a big difference there. Play around with it in your mouth. Okay, let's get into these words then. Let's see what words and different spelling patterns have this oo sound. So with a double O, which is probably the most common, the double O, we have the word, for example, book. We have foot. Good. Look. And whoops, when we make a mistake, we go whoops. It's all this oo sound within every single one of them. Practice these words, let me hear you. Perfect. Okay, let's move on, different spellings. This time with just the O, just the O, but it makes the OO sound. Words like wolf, quite a scary looking wolf there. Words like woman, woman. Quickly check out if you miss Google. Let's have a look, woman. Let's have a listen please, Miss Google. Woman. Woman, it's the OO sound, isn't it? Listen again. Woman. 
Woman. Woman. Woman. The U sound. Let's go back. Okay, what other words do we have here with different spellings? Well, with just the U, it's the letter U, we have this sound in words such as bull. And words like bullet. Bully. Bully. Butcher. Person who cuts up and sells meat. And cushion. Cushion. Let's move on. Words with this letter U as well. A few more for you. One of the more common ways to pronounce this single letter U in a word, especially with, word with double L's and things like that after it. So, fool. Pool. Push. To push something. Put. To put something in a trolley, in a shopping basket, for example. And sugar. 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 Not sugar. Sugar. It's a sh on the front. And a, the English person would say sugar. I would say sugar. But the sound is the same. The oo sound. Let's quickly check out with Miss Google. Back again. Sugar. How do we say it, Miss Google? Sugar. 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 Again, I'd say sugar, but the oo sound is the same. One more time. Sugar. Lovely stuff. Back we go. Okay, let's have another look then at another one. We have with O and U together. Again, this oo sound, as in could. Models, really. Would. Should. It's all the oo sound. Okay. What time is it? That's right. Well done, you. It's quiz time. Let's have a look at these words. The word's going to come up. I'll help you with a picture, and I want you to think how to say it. You can test yourself or write comments and let me know. It's up to you. Okay, first of all, what is this one? K, U, K. Well, that's a chef, but he cooks, or he's a cook. Okay, number two. That looks rude. It's not rude. Remember that first symbol is a sh sound. What's that? Shook. Isn't he shook the bottle? Or does she shook hands with somebody? For example, number three. You can do this. It's a word you might not know. This image might not help you that much. It comes from coal. If you're taking coal and you're touching it, this is what you get left in your hands. Suit. Suit. A homophone of a suit that you might wear to work. Number four. It's a strange looking word, isn't it? And it's a perfect example as well of those slight different sounds, uh, the differences in sound. What is this? This might help you. What's that? Cuckoo. 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 As in a cuckoo clock. And finally, what is that? My favourite part of a meal, to be honest. Does that help you? Very traditional in the UK especially during Christmas time. A Christmas pudding. Pudding, okay. Pudding is, the, is another word for dessert that you have after your meal. Okay, well, I certainly hope all of this has helped you understand how to say and how to recognise this ooh sound. Keep an eye out for it. Don't get scared by it. Practice it. Don't forget you can subscribe if you like what you see. Ring that little alert bell so you're always notified when I create and post a new video for you. Stay up to date. I'm cool. I'm on Instagram now. So follow me at Mr. Give English for daily updates. And don't forget to follow and like both on YouTube and Instagram. The name's always the same at Mr. Gibb English. Remember, you can always turn on notifications on Instagram as well, so you never miss anything that I post. I'm lucky with my followers, eh? Well, until next time, keep working hard, keep practicing. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. But until next time, look after yourselves.